And here we are uh, in Roman Aquincum. Uh, and these are pieces of monuments. Most of them seem to be uh, tombstones to legionaries that were buried here. Aquincum, I think, was a legionary settlement. That is, an entire legion was settled here after uh, they were discharged from the army. The emperors used to give land in Rome as a present for service. However, uh, they began to run out of room and they began to settle men in the provinces, of which uh, Severia was one of them, which is where we're at now. Uh, modern name is Savonie in Hungary. Uh, I'm not sure why it's ca also called a Queen Kum, but anyway. Uh, these have various degrees of uh, uh, various degrees of legibility, so I can actually read some of them. This one. Uh, let me zoom in on this one. That one actually still has red in the lettering. It's incredible. And a lot of them have wreaths or, you know, uh, soldiers with buddies of some kind. Could be slaves, maybe. Uh, the dates that you see on them are the dates they were uncovered. Uh, modern. Some go back to 1927. And some are actually more recent. A lot of them are in the 40s. 1949 seems to have been a... This is actually a famous one right here. This one's in uh, <laughs> every book I've ever seen. This is the real thing. Crazy. Uh, plenty of tabulum everywhere as you can tell. Uh, Emperor Caesar something. Hadriano, Anto uh, Antonio, uh, Cohort 3, Legio 2, uh, Legio 2 Augusta. Wow. Could you get a clear shot of that one just with that camera? That one's really clear. Okay. Just got another couple minutes. This is a different type. This is apparently a cavalryman. So he's playing on auxilia. Now th this actually may have been a whole auxiliary unit here. I'm not sure. Uh, here's a little altar like uh, Dio built for the Legion. Here's a real one. Too bad I can't stick it in my backpack. Okay, these are again legionaries of some sort. Mm. And these are the last ones. Again, lots of men with horses, so good chance this is a cavalry auxilia. Hmm. And all around us are the actual runes themselves, which we will check out in a minute, but frankly there's not much to see. Uh, it's just uh, floor plan after floor plan after floor plan uh, with a couple of columns thrown in. I think these columns are real, but I don't know. I can tell you that this building that we're in uh, is not real. It was uh, built to house uh, these statues. And there's Ignis, his girlfriend, my friend Martha and a bunch of trees. 
and some tombstones or something outside. So, okay. And this is a small uh, fishing village from Roman times. We're not sure what culture, but, uh, but it's hidden amongst Roman stuff. And there's a man carrying fruit. Lots of wicker. Apparently wicker survived very well. And if you look in the background, all of this is original. The original artwork of this house. And here's the ceiling. It's got a beautiful flower motif. And come around this way. And we see what looks like, uh, almost looks like a map to me. Not sure of what. And here's a typical Roman woman sitting next to a basket of fruit. And other displays. Lots of baskets. Very many baskets here. And here we are at the amphitheater in Aquincum, and this is where the gladiator fights took place for the uh, citizenry. And there's some special, I don't know if they're tables or what up there for the wealthier people probably. And here's the main entrance to the street, this is where we came in, of course the fence is modern. Here we are at a square which has no particular name but on each corner there's a statue of a particular hero. Uh, there's one and I can't describe to you how beautiful this, uh, this square is. It's just one of dozens. There's one direction. There's the opposite end. There's a lot of embassies on this street too. That's the flag of, looks like Sweden, can't really tell. Okay, back again. Is there a reason? No, it's not. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, this is the other corner of the street. I'll zoom in on the statue there. Uh, not sure who he is. He looks like a hussar, though. And back out. Crossing over. Next street again. And we have another fellow. A uh, slow zoom on him. Uh, not sure again, but uh, cool closed. This is the side of the street that our hotel is on. The hotel on Andra Androshi? Androshi? Androshi. Androshi? Androshi? No, no, Androshi, I think. 
And on this side of the road, uh, we've got this guy. Uh, who looks like that. He looks like some kind of a, well, I don't know, uh, ancient guy. And as usual, the obligatory, incredibly beautiful Baroque architecture in the background.